Good morning, Mark, and thank you for agreeing to this interview as part of my social digital apprenticeship. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I'm going to start with, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? Sure. Um, I'm Mark Goldfinch. I'm the founder and managing director of 3 Deal Limited, which is a digital services company. Why did you decide to start the business? So I wanted to build something for the future, uh, and particularly coming back to this country after being in the Middle East for many years, uh, I wanted to um, create a job not just for myself, but for the many talented people uh, around in my community. Could you provide me with a description of your business, please? 3 Deal is a digital services uh, company and a communications consultancy. We make it easy for people and businesses to use the latest technology and social digital technology uh, to tell their stories and engage their customers and their prospects. How did you acquire the background and skills necessary to set up and run this type of business? I've had a varied life as a, an Arabic linguist and as a technologist. Uh, so over the years, I've developed pretty good communication skills and the ability, I think crucially, to learn, relearn and reinvent according to, you know, I've gone to different countries, I've adopted new technologies, um, and that's one of the skills that I think I've learned over the years. How do you market your business and how do you make people aware of free deal? Well, like every business, I think this is, a, this is trial and error. As we, certainly as we've developed our products and services, uh, we've, uh, we've looked at the different buyers' personae, we've tweaked those, we've looked at email newsletters, which have been very su successful, uh, we've looked at um, uh, social digital, obviously, with the, uh, which is absolutely critical for engagement and for feedback from, uh, from your customers and from your leads. I still believe in the power of face-to-face. -face. You meet somebody, you have a cup of tea with them, you shake their hand, uh, you talk about the conference. The other nine... Uh, engagements after that can be on LinkedIn, they can be via newsletter, they can be on social or digital, but one in ten has to be face to face uh, in order to, to start that, uh, that human relationship off. Are there any developments on the horizon, either technological or social, which could affect future opportunities for you and your business? I did my MA in uh, international security. Uh, so I'm a bit worried about cyber warfare, state-sponsored cyber warfare, and also international criminal gangs, especially the sort of cyber crime. Um, I'm also old enough to remember the millennium bug, <laughs> so, uh, so there are all sorts of things that could come around. That's on the downside. On the positive side, however, so many opportunities. So we have 4G coming in, we have wearable devices, we have the Bitcoin revolution, which will utterly transform the way that um, payments are made uh, on the internet. However, the main thing that I, um, uh, this might sound a bit science fiction, but one of the things, one of the dreams that I have is uh, holograms. I have a final question for you, Mark. What advice would you give someone preparing to enter this field? Well, that's an interesting question. There are two, uh, two aspects, I think. There's the mental aspect and the uh, practical aspect. So the mental aspect, uh, for me, boils down in, especially if you're young, um, take a few risks, because the... 21st century is all about critical thinking and inventiveness, not about conformity. Uh, on a practical level, you know, entrepreneur or not, I think ev everybody should have uh, basic bookkeeping skills and they should develop those from a young age. Okay, thank you very much, Mark, for agreeing to be interviewed this morning and answering all of my questions, and I wish you the very best of luck in the future. Thank you very much, Cameron. It was a, it was a pleasure.